There's no other university in the world that has a production facility like this. The production facility is the University of Arizona's Richard F. Karras Mirror Lab. Buddy Martin is the project scientist for mirror polishing. His lab is a hidden gem at the U of A, tucked underneath the east side of Arizona Stadium. Despite being hidden away, the lab is world renowned for its cutting edge development of optical telescope mirrors. All of these 8.4 meter mirrors are the biggest mirrors that have ever been made. Right now they're making the seven mirrors for the giant Magellan telescope, which will be located in Chile. But to better understand what they're doing now, you have to go back to the beginning, the early 1980s. Roger Angel and John Hill and uh, some of their colleagues developed a method of making lightweight mirrors. In 1985, Dr. Angel, with financial support from the U of A, the U.S. Air Force, and the National Science Foundation, began the mirror lab under Arizona Stadium. And developed this enterprise to make mirrors that were better than anything else that was available, and now they've gone into a lot of telescopes. One of their first mirrors can still be found at the Vatican Observatory, the Pope's Telescope, located on Mount Graham in southeast Arizona. The 1.8 meter mirror happens to be the first mirror Buddy Martin worked on. It was the first one to be made by spin casting. Okay. Um, we rotate the furnace while the glass is melting and the centrifugal force gives it naturally the parabolic surface you need for a telescope. From there, the mirror lab used spin casting to create even larger mirrors. The challenge is, if you make it bigger, it doesn't want to hold its shape accurately. And a telescope mirror has to hold its shape to something like a millionth of an inch. The mirror lab has solved that issue, now casting 8.4 meter mirrors. That's nearly 28 feet. They've now cast all seven mirrors for the giant Magellan. The six outer mirrors have a unique saddle shape. That's because we're putting seven of them together to work like a single primary mirror, mm -hmm. and that's 25 meters or 80 feet. It takes about four years to cast each of the seven mirrors for the giant Magellan telescope. Now, fortunately, we can work on three or four at a time. Mm -hmm. We have uh, four different stations in the lab so we can produce mirrors more rapidly than every four years. Buddy Martin is in charge of polishing each mirror. It starts with this rough grinding. We'll go to a different kind of operation, the polishing operation, to get it ultimately to the accuracy of a millionth of an inch. Right now, they're celebrating a milestone at the mirror lab. For the first time, they're testing one of the completed 8.4 meter mirrors on the support cells, which will hold the mirror in the giant Magellan telescope. You have to have a very complex support system for one of these mirrors. Right now, the completed mirrors have a protective blue coating on the surface. They actually aren't mirrors yet. The reflective coating, only four millionths of an inch thick, is added on site. This piece of glass that costs many millions of dollars and takes years to make. The whole purpose of it is to hold that layer of aluminum in the right shape because it's the aluminum that does all the work. The seven mirrors will be shipped to Chile later this decade. The giant Magellan telescope is supposed to be operational by the early 2030s. This is a bigger telescope than anything that exists and it's going to do things that have never been done before. Perhaps even find an elusive exoplanet with proof of life elsewhere in the universe. Buddy, thank you very much. The mirror lab here at the University of Arizona certainly is absolutely Arizona, and we appreciate your time. Thank you. <laughs>